Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habit to fillah is a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters the importance of making dhikr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and learning the prophetic ways of dhikr and remembering Allah azza wa jal I wanted to mention a very important hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which talks about and emphasizes the importance of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the more that you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout your life that when in a time of crisis or on your deathbed that you are more apt to, to uh, remember Allah azza wa jal. You don't want to remember your favorite song on your dead deathbed. And we've countless examples in the Mashaykh here in Saudi Arabia, often they speak about examples of youth, you know, that they just pump themselves for music, they love, they may not have prayed, or anything like this, and they died listening to music, died in car accidents or so forth, and some of them, sometimes the police will come to them and try to get them to say, La ilaha illallah, and all they can remember is Ya Habibi, Ya Habibi, or these other things that they're listening to and putting in their, uh, in their minds and their hearts, and that will be a travesty to die, to be on your deathbed and remembering 50 cent instead of remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. An Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal, Sa'altu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Aya'mal ahabba illallah. Qal, Antamuta wa lisanaka rutbun min dhikrillahi ta'ala. أخرجه بخاري. In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, the hadith of Mu'adh bin Jabal رضي الله تعالى عنه. He said, I asked the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم, which deed is the most beloved to Allah? And he said, to die, and your tongue is moist with the remembrance. Of Allah the Almighty, Akhrajahu Bukhari. This is a hadith in Sahih Bukhari, and it shows us the importance of remembering Allah often. So that way, when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as all of us, Kullu nafsin da ikatul mawt, all souls will taste death. And the fact that we will all taste death, we need to prepare for death. We need to spend this time in this dunya preparing for death. And one of the easiest ways that every single one of us can do is by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our tongue. It doesn't require wealth. It doesn't even require health. It doesn't require much from us except for to exert effort and to make our hearts in tune with those efforts. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of the dhakirin wa dhakirat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.